Hi. Um, so I know I haven't been making videos for a while. Um, it's because I'm busy with school. But I also realized like the content I usually make is not really like varied. It's not it's yeah, it's kinda limited and I thought I'd spice it a little bit and do something different. Um, even though people have been doing this for a while. So captions is a favorite video. Um and yeah, let's dive into it. So, <clears throat> in terms of apparel, um, I've been wearing sundresses a lot just because it's getting warmer here in Waterloo as well, um, and I may purchase this. I think you've probably seen in other hauls. Um, this is one of the um, ones I got at Walmart, which kind of sends um, a little bit um, above my knee. It's very floral, as you can see, and it, it fits super well. And I also, I will tell you later about this accessory, well, my accessory, but yes, this is a very um, floral, girly, feminine dress that I really, really like, if you can hum on to a lot. Another dress um, that I have been wearing a lot is this white Abercrombie dress, and it has slits on the side that kind of show your left handles, or whatever you want to call them. And there, there's also like these lace patterns as well. But I think I've mentioned this in a haul video, but yeah. These are two of the summer dresses that I have been hanging out to. And now I'm moving on to accessories. Um, as I said, I've been using this um, lace bow kind of a lot. Um, I started using it in the winter, like during winter, but now I've used it a whole lot more um, just because it matches with a lot of my spring stuff and it's very feminine and it really is so versatile I can use it with almost almost everything um <clears throat> within this little red or like um color range but yeah uh, that actually originally came from an H&M piece um that it was just a pretty plain white and then it just had like this belty kind of um things on the side that came from with the belt. But anyway, next accessory that I'm loving are these shades. I got these in Montreal, which I kind of regret because I didn't know Montreal's tax was like um, more expensive, like 18% as opposed to 13 here. But, um, well, it's Arden, so it's not that. It won't make that much of a difference because it was like, I don't know, like 5 or $6. I don't really remember, but they were dirt cheap. But, Real cool, um, almost like my Walmart shades, but um, in a different color, and I love them. But I've used these super, super much during this. May. Next, moving on to skincare. Um, so because like spring has been coming, summer, um, the humidity is like well, it's not like Hong Kong, but um. It's still like more humid than winter, and hence my skin kind of changes a little bit and needs um, less hydration. So I've been putting down my Laneige, like at least the cleanser, um, for a while, and I've been using this to touch up as well during the night. This Neutrogena. I think I've done a haul or a review maybe um, before about this um, acne spot treatment. So if I break out, which I don't really too often, but when I do kind of around my T-zone, I'll just drop it a little bit here and there and it works perfectly. So yeah, that's great. And then, books. I've been reading a lot of books lately, um, well just because I'm an English major, but um, I haven't been able to finish my leisurely books, but The Bell Jar, I love, love, love. I thought I wasn't gonna love it just because it's gonna I thought it was gonna be like really morbid, but it is morbid, but in a sense that it's really honest and unapologetically honest. And I guess that's why she first like used not her own name, but then um to publish it. But anyways, I thought it was it was not as juvenile as well, the introduction or the editor said, the editor back then said, um, 
but I don't think it was that juvenile. I mean, there's a lot that we can look into it, and I um, just now figuring the presentation is letting me, no, preparing my presentation is letting me figure out a lot of things, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, it's like I, 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 I've been flipping through it so much, it's like breaking, and it's heartbreaking for me to see this. I'm like very like OCD about how my books go, but I'm just gonna have to live with that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm a little nitsy there, but I like it. I don't know why. Um, other books that I have been reading, I've been reading a lot of poetry. Um, I've been reading a lot of Sylvia Plath journals and um, letters home. Um, Ted Hugh, Shakespeare. I'm really looking forward to these Shakespeare conferences that I'm going to go to um, this June um, at Stratford and Hamilton. It's going to be so much fun. I had fun um, in May um, uh, in Toronto, Tarragon um, theaters. Fun. But let me get back to my um, top ten because I'm running out of time. Movies. I haven't been watching a whole lot of new movies in May. The only new movie I saw was Imitation Game, which is actually actually not that new. But um, I've been going back to um, older movies, um, just rewatching them. Um, and one of my favorites is probably Wedding Planner. Um, and Down to You, um, Julia Stiles, Love Love Buffer. Anyway, um, movies. Imitation Game. I liked it. It was I think it was thoroughly well done. Um, Cumberbatch is, is good. Um, I'm still an Eddie Redman fan, but um, he is good in this movie. Um, music. I I have been blasting um, See You Again a lot. Just um, Charlie Puth, I think it's pronounced. Um, the one from Fast and Furious 7, just because it's just so emotional. Like, I don't even know the whole story from, because I only think, I think I only saw one and two, and then I just didn't follow up with three to five, um, and I haven't even seen seven, but it's so emotional, and I, I love just, like, trying to hit the high notes myself, but I've also been, um, blasting, um, this mashup on YouTube that, um, it's by Louisa Wendorf, Wendorf, I think I wrote down, yeah. Blank space and style. I think, and if you can just like Google that, it is probably it went viral for a while, and I just had to like download it and like just listen to it all the time. I just loved it so much. It's so well matched together. And that pretty much ends my um main favorites video. Um, something to look forward to. Um, I like lyrics that I'm writing. I'm writing a set of lyrics that are based on Marianne Young's um, Aquarius, um, yeah, song, and it's kind of a flip. Um, it's still going to be very horoscope um, based, but it is going to have a spin to it. Um, and for my birthday, I'm going to slide the city in Toronto. Super, super excited. Um, also going to Albion Falls, which will also be very exciting, just because the pictures I see at Albion Falls are just gorgeous, and I cannot wait to go with all my friends, and yeah, be exciting. So, um, it would be an exciting, um, 30th birthday, yes, a big deal, and, um, yeah, and I can show you, like, my wall has kind of changed up a little bit with the Polaroid project that I've been doing at school last semester. Um, just juxtaposing it with Instagram, but that's pretty much it. Um, kind of a favorites update and hype. Um, hope you guys have a good summer, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys about my BU interview. Uh, I got a BU interview through Skype, but for a lecturing position back in Hong Kong, fingers crossed for me. Legit, bye. Signing out. How do you do? YouTube? No, YouTube is next. Bye. <laughs>